What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Alex and today I decided to make a much requested video of how to travel light and pack for short trips. If you guys follow my vlogs then you know I fly pretty often around two to three times a month and after traveling so much I definitely learned a few tricks on packing light and being smart about it. Now why should you pack light? Well because if you pack everything that's in your closet then you gotta check your bag which is a hassle because then you have to wait in line. Then you might have to pay a fee for checking in more bags than you're allowed to or they might lose your bag in customs or your luggage might get sent to a foreign country somewhere. These are just some of the reasons why I decided to always pack light. And this is why tip number one is if you're going somewhere for less than seven days, always bring carry-ons and don't check any bags in. Get a bigger carry-on and a large backpack if you're a guy or maybe a large purse if you're a girl and just make it work. I was always scared of taking just a carry-on but then I challenged myself to fit everything into my backpack and my carry-on and I'll tell you what, I'm never going back to checking in bags. I just can't stand waiting by the luggage belt for my suitcase. If you're only taking a carry-on then you can walk out of the airplane and get out of the airport and skip all that nonsense. Tip number two is to use your cell phone as your boarding pass. It's so much easier to get into the airplane that way and you don't have to carry paper or try to find it or risk losing it. You just have to download the app of the airline that you're flying in and then show it in the entrance. It's so much easier that way and you can also just check in online through the app right before your flight. Tip number three, don't bring books. Books are really heavy and just hard to carry and hard to read in an airplane because you have to turn on that little light and then your neighbor is gonna hate you because you have that light on at night. So I use this service called Audible and the pretty voice will just read the book for me while I'm flying. Right now I'm reading this book called Smarter, Faster, Better. It's about increasing productivity. I highly recommend it if you're into that kind of thing. Audible also offers a 30 day free trial so you can go check it out and download the book for free if you use the link that's in my description here. And make sure you let me know which books you're reading in the comments below. Tip number four, wear comfy sneakers that you can take off easily. Airports are usually so big that you end up walking a lot, so make sure you pick sneakers that you like. Then you have to go through security and take them off quickly. Make sure you wear nice socks, by the way. I've embarrassed myself a couple of times. Bonus tip for you guys out there, just trust me, wear nice socks to the airport. Tip number five, pre-plan your outfits and make sure you bring items that you can wear more than once. If I'm bringing five different outfits, then maybe I can just bring three jeans and then wear them more than once. And that makes it a lot easier and you carry less stuff, which means you get to bring your carry-on and not check in a bag. Bonus tip, make sure you check the weather before you fly out. A lot of people don't do that. And if you need to bring a sweatshirt or a heavy coat because the weather's gonna be a little bit chilly, then make sure you wear that to the airport. And that way you have more room in your luggage. You can also follow me on Instagram and follow all of my trips. My Instagram is right down here. You can check it in the description. Make sure you subscribe if you like this video. I'll be bringing more and more, so subscribe. That way you won't miss any of them. And like the video, that really helps my channel grow. All right, guys, I'll see you soon. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.